In this video, I'll go through all aspects of the key knowledge for Unit 3, Outcome 2, and I will be applying the information to one specific industrial designer, Mark Newson. But first, we will look at the breadth of the area of study in general. All designers and design companies, irrespective of their size and irrespective of their design field, industrial, environmental or communication, will inevitably follow a design process. Know your wheel well. We will return to how Mark Newson, as an industrial designer, may journey through this generalised design process. But first, we will have a look at what it may look like for a big communication design firm. You need to be able to distinguish between the three design fields and the design practices relating to each. Environmental design relates to any area of design concerned with movement about a space, internal or external. Industrial design relates to objects we use and handle. And communication design is primarily concerned with the presentation of visual information. It is rare for designers to work purely on their own. According to the design field, a designer will turn to the assistance of specialists if the design practice is big enough, the specialists will be in-house. If they are a smaller company, they will externally source specialists. These specialists provide various skills and services in specific stages of the design process. During specific stages of their design process, a fashion designer may need to work with a pattern maker, sample maker, a fabric cutter or a sewing machinist. A packaging designer may have to call on the services of a photographer during the development stage, a finished artist at the refining stage, and a printer at the production stage. Design companies work in, as teams. The size of such teams is determined by the size of the company and the size of the design job. While being assigned to specific tasks, team members also need to work collaboratively. If you were to look at the responsibilities of the staff of a big graphic design company, its hierarchy would look something like this. In such a company, the art director is the boss. They are also the creative head from whom the ideas flow downward to various levels of assisting designers, who in turn pass off the work to finished artists who get work ready for production. Let's now have a look at how an Australian designer of world renown goes about their work and how they engage others in their design practice. Mark Newson is an Australian designer based in London. His clients include a broad range of very well-known international brands, from manufacturing technology to transportation, fashion and luxury goods. Many of his designs have achieved the status of modern design icons. In addition to his core business, he runs a number of successful companies, including a fine watch brand and an aerospace design consultancy. He has also held senior management positions at client companies. Currently, he is the creative director of Qantas Airways. Mark Newson's design practice includes the fields of industrial design and architectural interior design. As a designer, he serves in a number of roles in his own company and in his collaborations with other companies that seek his services. He is a designer with many design roles. He is the managing director of his own design company. He is employed as an art director or creative director to run design departments of big companies such as Qantas Airways. He is contractually engaged as a designer by entering contracts with companies for individual design projects. Projects include a speedboat for River, a tea set for George Jensen, a fountain pen for Mont Blanc, a variety of kitchenware for Alessi, furniture and homewares for Capellini, a sneaker for Nike. For a complete list, visit his website, please. And finally, he is also a collaborative designer, working in experimental departments of companies such as Apple Computers and the European Aeronautic Defence and Space Company on their Astrium space jet. Now, let us quickly turn to Mark Newson's audience. The key characteristics of Mark Newson's audience fall into two main categories, income and interests. While there are three distinct income groups, all three groups share a similar aesthetic taste. 
Each income group is able to afford a particular range of design created by Mark Newson. He has an audience for mass-produced industrial designs. These are smaller objects, mostly homewares, which are produced in very large numbers and are more affordable to persons earning a relatively good income. We can expect his audience for his high-end products to be earning a higher income. These objects are mainly furniture made using costly and time-consuming manufacturing processes. Limited edition art and design products target companies and individual collectors who earn a very high income and collect art and limited edition furniture. The second major characteristic that defines a Mark Newson audience and one that is often shared across income brackets is design interests. The majority of the Newson's audience tends to be knowledgeable in art and design. Some may be art educated but are most likely to be discerning about design or at least they are aware of current trends in design. Mark Newson's industrial design company is staffed by a range of people with specific responsibilities and like most design companies, big, medium or small, will have a similar structure to that of the large graphic design company we looked at earlier. A likely company structure will have Mark Newson as the art director who is assisted by senior or mid-weight designers and a computer operator with expertise in CAD or computer-aided design. As the creative head, Newson would come up with ideas and solutions to design problems. Assistant designers would follow up on technical issues and offer suggestions on a design direction or resolution. In developmental and refinement stages, he would turn to experts to create 3D models and technical drawings. Small prototypes and models may be created in-house by a CAD specialist. For the fabrication or production of his designs, Newton would turn to external suppliers. They are especially important in the refinement, production and post-production stages of the design process. In the final production stages, Newton will need the skills of specialised craftsmen and specialists in particular fabrication techniques. Depending on his projects, he will turn to stonemasons, metal workers and mould makers. In post-production, he will need the, to promote his work and will turn to photographers and website designers. Here are typical stages of Newson's design process. In the generation of ideas, he'll make quick rough sketches. In the development of concepts, He'll make further drawings by hand, considering design problems and options. In the refining of successful concepts, he will send work to be created in CAD to make drawings for the purpose of creating scale 3D printed prototypes. In the final production stage, Mark Newson will have drawings created as CAD files to be sent to fabricators to work from. Following the production, or post-production, there's now a need for promotion of the designs, so Mark Newson will turn to photographers and web page designers. Thoughtful design decisions are based on the understanding and application of materials, methods, media, design elements and design principles. It's important to understand how materials affect decision making. First, Materials limit what can be done with them. For example, mass production requires materials that are well suited to mass production machinery, such as mould techniques. Materials typically suited for mass production include a range of plastics, glass, carbon fibre and fibreglass. Secondly, Newson's limited edition designs require specialist skills in their fabrication. These more difficult materials include marble and metals. They are costly and require time to be carved or beaten by hand. The materials chosen by Mark Newson for his designs are selected on the basis of three important criteria. Appropriateness. Materials are chosen for their appropriateness for a design's given task and are selected because of their material characteristics such as strength, plasticity and durability. Aesthetic properties. A material could be used because of its aesthetic properties, that is, its physical appearance. 
associations. A material could be used because of its historical or conceptual associations that make it unique, prestigious or valuable. A good example of a thoughtful selection of historically associated materials is Newson's use of Carrara marble for his limited edition tables. Newson has selected a stone of great historical importance and thereby invites his audience to tap into its long history, going all the way back to the Renaissance and to the sculptures of Michelangelo made of the same stone mined from the same quarry. When you think about Mark Newson's design process, his design practice, you cannot exclude the manner in which his designs are actually made. So there are questions relating to social, ethical, and environmental factors that go into his design and their creation. In terms of environmental concerns, Mark Newton should be aware of using sustainable materials and that he has considered how his products will be recycled at the end of their lives. In terms of the human, social and ethical concerns, Mark Newson should be aware that workers making his products are paid fairly and are working in appropriate conditions. Essentially, he must consider the protection of human rights and be sure there is no child labour used, nor is he exploiting any of the workforce. Finally, Mark Newson has to protect his own designs as well. And this is done through intellectual property. Now, there are two different ways this happens for him because he creates works of two different kinds. One is mass-produced, the other is limited edition. The limited edition uh, is covered by copyright. His mass-produced work is covered by design registration. His logo is protected as a trademark. For anyone to use his work, they'll need to go into a licensing agreement with him and make out a contract which permits them to use his designs.